Hello Year 6, hope you're all fantastic and holding up really well. We are all really proud of you at the moment and really want to help you push on. So, Mr. Purdy is going to give you a message today about how to continue with your maths. Now, you seem to be managing it. You seem to be going white rows, then my eye maths, then completing the extra worksheets from Classroom Secrets, which is amazing. You're doing really well at that. The bit that's the struggle is keeping that culture we had at school. Now, we've got to keep that for two reasons. It allows us as teachers to give you some high-end responses so we can direct you in the best possible way. And the second reason is you need to continue to develop your independence. You're transitioning from primary to secondary this year and only in a few months. So we want you to be developing your independence. So that goes like this. You do your white rose work, okay? And most of you are then submitting it onto Edmodo, which is great, but you need to mark it. The answers are there, okay? So select the answers, mark it. Then you need to make adjustments to ones you didn't know, and you need to self-assess, you need to say, Okay, I didn't get question six. The problem with that was I didn't understand the method or I didn't understand the words used or I couldn't break down the word problems. There's no point going, I got six wrong. Okay, how did you get six wrong? You need to give some good self-assessment and then actually reward yourself. Put down what you've done so well. You know, one, five and ten was so simple for me because I understood the method and can break it down really quickly. I actually really enjoyed them. Okay, good quality feedback then will help us give you good quality feedback. So that, even a little comment with it in the picture, submit it under the assignment. Please make sure you're putting your stuff under the assignment. Now, after that, you go into my maths, and Mr. Pay wants you to develop your independence here. I'm going to set five my maths a week. Okay, I'm not going to tell you which one to do. They're going to be on there. You pick which one you want to do. Okay, you pick the one that you think most relates to our current learning. You pick the one that you think you need the most practice on. You could maybe even go back over one that you didn't manage the first time round and you think you've improved at. Okay. And then you take your screenshot that's marked and submit it. Now, there's people finishing their work within 10, 15 minutes. That's not expected. That means you're either rushing it or you're not trying hard enough. So we want you to really focus on those first two. Then, if you've got time, move on to the classroom secret stuff. Practice, practice, practice practice. It will make you perfect, okay? So take one of the sheets, have a go at a few of the questions in your book underneath your white rose work. And again, the answers are there for you later on to go back on. Please, when we're providing you with the answers like we are at the moment, don't cheat. You're only letting yourself down. I would rather have the child get 10% correct and be honest than get 100% and dishonest. So make sure you're working with integrity, independence, and to the best of your ability. Follow these steps. Look at this video if you're ever unsure. And all the best. We are really, really proud of you in year six. Keep it going. You are superstars.